Welcome to the Air Gun Show. This week we've got a roundup of new kit from the British Shooting Show. I'm taking a look at a brilliant combo package from Pelpax, which includes a pre-charged air gun, an air bottle, and much, much more. But before that, we're joining Richard Saunders as he heads out hunting with his sights set on corvids and rabbits. I'm out doing another rabbit control job uh, today and the farm I'm on keeps mainly sheep but some cattle as well and they've also got a, a small plant nursery and some polytunnels where they grow some plants and, uh, and shrubs and what have you. Now the problem with the rabbits is that they uh, dig underneath the fences and make them unstable and they're also getting into the polytunnel in the nursery uh, and they're eating the plants. And I've come down uh, during daylight because I'd like to get some footage of some shots uh, in the day uh, because it's just more interesting to see. Um, but I have to say, um, I don't rate my chances too high because the rabbits are really, really wary here. Um, but I'll have a look around, I'll do an ambush or two, um, and if I don't have any luck, then I'll just come back later on when it's dark. Um, just to run through the kit. Now, the rabbits here, as I said before, are really, really wary. Um, so I tend to use FAC rifles here. Um, the extra range is really helpful obviously, uh, but also it's quite open here and any breeze can be a real uh, problem. Um, so the heavier pellets, FAC pellets, uh, help with that. Now I've got tonight, or today, uh, a day state Red Wolf. It's a 0.25 calibre um, 50 foot pound rifle. Um, it fires I think about a 33-34 grain pellet at well over 900 feet per second. Um, and really packs a wallop. It's a, um, a side lever 10 shot bolt action, uh, very reliable, very smooth. Um, now I've got some uh, sports match uh, scope mounts on here uh, as usual which is holding on an ATN Excite uh, 4K Pro and on the front of that I've got the ATN ABL uh, rangefinder. Now with this kit um, I practice an awful lot with this on the range in all sorts of different uh, shooting positions and I know my holdover points uh, and my hold under points um, intimately and I'm confident that taking shots out to 55 meters um, it's a nice still day today as well so no real issues with uh, with any any windage um, so if any rabbits present themselves at that kind of distance as long as I've got a nice stable position to shoot from um, then uh, then they're on and Richard eventually gets his quarry in his sights in the shape of a carrion crow. Well I've been sat here for quite a while now and um, nothing has come out at all um, and I was just about to leave actually when a crow flew into the tree uh, just ahead of me. Um, now it's about 40 metres away. Unfortunately he had his back to me. Um, so I was able to move the sticks and get into position. And uh, I aimed at the middle of his back, between his shoulder blades, and I must have hit um, right on the money because he went down like an absolute brick. Obviously I'm out for rabbits mainly today, but crows and corvids are an ongoing issue here because the sheep are lambing pretty much all year round. Uh, and they're a constant nuisance. So uh, I'm pleased to get that one. There are opportunities for crows don't come along that often. You know what? I've been sat in this field for, for hours now and it's muddy and wet and, and really minging and uh, nothing's come out since I shot that crow a little while ago. Um, now I could tough it out and just stay until it gets dark 
um, but I think I'll do more harm than good to be honest. So I'm going to go home, grab a cup of tea, warm up, then come back when the, uh, when the sun goes down and hopefully the rabbits come out. Right, well I've come back now, it's a couple of hours later, um, as you can see it's starting to get dark. The gear is exactly the same, all I've done is put an IR torch um, on the rifle now so that I can use the Excite in night mode. This shot would have been virtually impossible with a sub 12 foot pound air gun, but Richard managed to punch that heavy pellet right through to the target. I just made my way down to a bramble bank um, and I can see a rabbit through the, uh, the, the, uh, the thermal imager um, and uh, he was right in amongst the bushes and to be honest I didn't think I was going to get a chance but when I got closer uh, and looked through the ATN he just happened to be in a bit of a, um, a gap in the, in, the, in, in the brambles and um, he just turned his head around slightly to, to the side presented me with a really uh, good shot um, just one twig to miss and at 28 meters, um, it was a formality with this gear. Um, hit him really solidly in the head and he fell down straight away. Uh, and he's about as dead as a dead rabbit can be. So I'm just gonna go and get him now. Right, well I've just been um, sitting in the corner of this field um, for ages now, nothing happening. And I've um, spotted a couple of rabbits about 80 meters away. Um, through the, uh, the pulsar um, laser uh, thermal spotter. So I'm going to see if I can stalk down and get a little, a little bit closer to them, give myself a chance at a shot. I managed to sneak down into position on that rabbit. Um, I thought I was a bit closer than I was actually. I thought I was about 40 meters, but when I um, looked again, it was um, at about 55, 56 meters, I think, uh, lasered. Um, but he was feeding quite happily. I thought if I moved again though, I was gonna spook him. So I had a nice stable position. I had to give him a little bit of a squeak, but he put his head up and uh, yeah, connected really, really solidly with him. When I saw that one um, through the, the thermal once again, I'm out on the, uh, the lane that leads up to the poly tunnels and uh, saw him really clearly through the thermal. But when I uh, looked through the scope, uh, I realized that the, uh, the torches on my, uh, the batteries on my IR torch are starting to give out. But I could still see his eye shine very clearly and make out the shape of his head as well. And um, um, I gave him a mill dot of holdover this setup is zero at 45 meters, so he was 58 meters. I uh, gave him a mill dot, uh, took my time, and uh, yeah, really, really solid connection. And I can see that he went down straight away, rolled over on his side, uh, just a, a kick or two of his feet, and that was that. A uh, really humane kill. Although Richard is shooting for pest control, these rabbits are destined for the pot so he's eager to make sure that everything gets picked up. Well, there's only so much fun a person can have and I've had all of my fill tonight. It's really muddy and wet and cold now. Um, but I've had three rabbits and that crow of course, uh, which isn't a huge bag. But uh, as I said, the rabbits are very wary here. Uh, I do shoot up here an awful lot. So I'm just pleased to have got something uh, for the night. Uh, four shots, four kills, got to be pleased with that. Uh, keeps the pressure up 
and uh, keeps the farmer happy as well. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Richard Saunders getting amongst the pests there during daylight and darkness. Now it's the Air Gun Show news with a special roundup of new gear from the British Shooting Show. This is the Air Gun Show news. It's a show special from the British Shooting Show. In its third year at the UK's premier exhibition venue, the show is bigger and better than ever. Here's the best of what we saw and heard at the show. At the Great British Shooting Awards on the Saturday evening, 15 awards were given out to the very best the trade had to offer, covering every part of the industry from air guns to optics, centre fires to conservation heroes. The Air Arms S510 was crowned Air Gun of the Year, Deer Hunter's Pro Gamekeeper Jacket won Apparel of the Year, and Duncan Thomas was given a Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm really, really chuffed and uh, what a surprise. But to be frank, this is down to a massive effort from a big extended team. I'm very, very lucky. Um, somebody once said to me, you surround yourself in competence and, and I really do have a very, very good, skillful, enthusiastic team. And the volunteers that support us as well are, are absolutely priceless. What a, what a fantastic result for a, a big, big team effort. More and more egg and businesses are using the British Shooting Show to launch and showcase new products. Brocock were among those with new kit to show off, this time in the shape of the new XR range. Based on tried and tested Brocock models, these guns now feature side lever cocking and loading, plus a few other clever tweaks. This is the new series of rifles from Brocock. Side lever cocking. This particular one is called the Commander XR. For the first time we're offering it with a folding stock for UK market as well as export, making it uber compact. A very small, lightweight rifle under three kilos. Shrouded barrel, humor air regulator, 300 shots per charge, carbon bottle, full power, even if you've got an FAC, it should take you up to 46 foot pounds. Definitely the gun to buy in 2020. The Walther Rotex RM8 has proven itself as a PCP that delivers solid performance without breaking the bank, and now it has eye catching looks to add to its long list of features. The new laminate stock variant, available in a variety of colours, attracted a lot of attention. We're here at the British Shooting Show. We just um, launched the new RM8 with the laminate stock. We're going to be doing it in the three different colours, the blue, yellow and the green. Um, it's, the, it's based off the standard RM8 platform, so it's all the traditional RM8 features. The laminate stock has got the adjustable back piece, uh, which goes side to side and up and down. And it isn't just the RM8 that has had a laminate makeover. Visitors to the whole cartridge stand got to see the HW110 in its elegant new grey laminate stock, which includes a fully adjustable butt pad. What we have here is it's got an adjustable butt pad, um, a thumbhole stock, um, some really lovely stippling on the far end, again with the uh, separate weaver rail. Um, this is launched thanks to public feedback from the shows. You guys come along and said, God, we really love a thumbhole, we really love a laminate stock. Varak have produced it, they've done a fabulous job as always. Um, so we wanted to unveil it at the British Shooting Show 2020. Show goers usually expect to find some good deals, and plenty of them were taking advantage of the chance to save money on the site Mark Wraith on the Scott Country Stand. Tony Vladimirov was on hand to tell us more about this digital day and night scope. It has 10 different reticles and 9 different colours. It remembers up to 5 profiles of uh, different zeroing or different rifles depending on you. Extremely user friendly, uses 4 AA batteries which can give you between 4 to 5 hours with regular batteries with rechargeable of course more. Also it has a micro SD card so recording and taking pictures is possible. Uh, it has a USB hub that you can attach uh, uh, outside power banks, uh, external battery packs. Basically one of the best uh, products on the market now for night vision, especially on the price point that it is. Highland Outdoors was showing off the new Webley Raider. The proven PCP has been given a classy revamp which includes refined looks, stock adjustability and a shrouded barrel option. Got a fully adjustable heel pad, <laughs> comes with two magazines, a 12 shot in 2.2, 14 shot in 177. It also has double 
sight rails. It has Picatinny rail and also the 38. So depending on what scopes and mounts you've got, they'll fit this. Gamo's multi-shot brake barrel action gives shooters of spring-powered guns the versatility of a 10-shot magazine. The action has now been rolled out to a wide range of Gamo brake barrels, which will be known as the Swarm series. This is the Whisper X stock model that we have here, but all the guns that I'm about to show you on this range are based on the 10-shot um, technology, which we're uh, rebadging as Swarm. We have the Maxim Elite Tactical and the Maxim Elite Beach, which are quite well known in the market. And to follow that success, we're broadening the range by uh, adding that technology to our other models. So we have camouflage stocks, we have this thumbhole stock, which is the Whisper X, and other models. So come by the booth and have a look. They may have won Airgun of the Year award for two consecutive years, but Air Arms refuse to rest on their laurels. The British gunmaker already has a world-class pedigree on the competition circuit and the new XTI-50 on show and prototype guys should ensure that it stays at the front of the medal chasing pack. This is it in its prototype form. As you can see, it's in this beautiful orange laminate stock, but it's also going to be available in the black rubber overmolded stock. Being a prototype, it's not quite the finished article. The main features are the fully adjustable hamster quick release, multi-position adjustable, very simple to operate, extreme, go all the way down to there, the ultimate standing shot. You've got the fully adjustable butt hook, quick action for length or cheek piece height, also the grippers for the shoulder are quick release. It's got a new regulator, an air stabilisation system. The finished article will be slightly different insofar as the stock will be about an inch longer and the cheek piece will also be an inch longer. The cocking lever will also be shorter and have a lower cocking effort and it will be all rounded off and smooth. First focal plane scopes offer shooters the chance to zoom the magnification up and down without shifting the aim points on their reticle. Hawk Optics are now making the system available on an even wider choice of their models, including the popular Air Max. It comes with flip-up covers and your, your larger side wheel, illuminated reticle as well. We've gone for capped turrets instead of um, exposed turrets, the reason being is you should really be using the benefit of the first focal plane, but if you do want to dial, we've got the MRAD turrets as well. So we've got MRAD for elevation and windage. Swedish Airgun Supremo FX have a reputation for cramming a lot into a small package, and the new compact version of the Impact Mark II takes the concept to another level. This diminutive PCP boasts all the usual Impact features, but is smaller, lighter and even faster handling. I'm here with a new FX Impact Compact. It features everything the standard compact does, but it comes in a bit much more compact length. Um, the only thing you lose on this one is shot count, but you gain so much mobility, it's, it's crazy. Um, this one has a 300cc bottle instead of the standard 408cc, and it comes with the same barrel length, but with a shorter shroud. So a little bit higher mark from it, but it's still going to be just as accurate and you can put whatever silencer up front you want. It's a super accurate gun, it contains all the features of standard impact, but comes in a much smaller package. Over on the Air Gun Show stand, we took the time to talk to a couple of the industry's leading figures. First, Nigel Winkle showed us some new hunting clothing. And to go with the new logo, we've got the new Evolution Smart, which is here now. Um, landed three weeks ago, and that's now available to buy. Um, and as I said, we're trying to improve the features and fabrics of the, of the, um, of the garment. So it's got a 15,000 hydrostatic head, um, which is the water resistance. It's got a 10,000 MVT breathable membrane in it. And we've introduced some of the um, features that people wanted, you know, for the Highland stalkers. And we've got the binocular pocket in the front there. Okay. Um, the removable hood, um, the through pockets down here so the pocket goes all the way through so we've got some more um, stowage space. Mm -hmm. More importantly we put in the underarm venting system so that gives uh, the, the, the garment um, the ability to breathe more to allow access of, of ventilation 
um, but it's still made from the lightweight fabrics that we're, we're employing. And finally, we learned a few things about the future of shooting from Basque. I think the last couple of years have been challenging for shooting in general, but uh, we keep going and I think we're, we're doing a good job and we're, we're getting, um, we look like we're getting decent results in the right places, so we can we carry that work on. There's a vast amount of conservation work goes on to support shoes, and we can't shoot without that conservation work. Um, but it's about telling the it's about telling the story, of that isn't it? And it's about you know using social media positively to tell those stories and to show the good work that, that goes on. I think there's this mystique about shooting that the, the, the general public um, don't understand. So let's be honest. There's, we've got if you, you look at a line and, and shooting across this whole line, you've got the antis at one end that we're never going to ever, ever convince. We've got us at the other end, but there's this big chunk in the middle yeah, that if we, can, if we can break this down and we can get the right stories to these people, which is what we try to do, then we've got a greater chance of making sure that shooting's still here in the format that we know and we love in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time. And that's, and that's what it's all about. So there's a responsibility on all of us. It's about standards, use of social media. But when it's a good story to be told, it's making sure that we tell the right people. That's all we've got time for. We'll see you at the next one. That was the Egg and Show News. Combo packages are a great way to get a good deal if you're looking for a complete air gunning package. Pale Pack's put together some really good ones and we've had a few on the bench over the last couple of years. This one is based around the Virac HW110 carbine and you also get a scope, mounts, pellets, bipod, hard case and even a full air bottle. All that for just £999.99. I actually reviewed the HW110 in detail a couple of years ago, but I will just take a closer look at some of its features before we look at those accessories. Kicking off with its proportions, it weighs less than 3 kilos unscoped, and at 88 centimetres with the silencer on, it is very compact. The ambidextrous stock seems to be a good fit for most shooters and it feels great in the shoulder. It's actually a wooden handle with a rubberized soft touch finish. Combined with the forend and pistol grip checkering it makes for an incredibly grippy hold. The well defined cheek piece is nice and high just as you'd want with a scope only gun. The scope rail is of the Picatinny type it makes for a very secure attachment and offers plenty of clamping space. This air gun also comes supplied with Virac's excellent silencer. It's one of the best sound suppressors out there and makes this air gun very, very quiet in operation. Just as you'd expect from this quality German gun maker, finish and engineering are both of a very high standard and the trigger is excellent. I really like the design of the blade and it's a very good adjustable two-stage mechanism. The first stage comes to a predictable stop before the second stage breaks very crisply. The safety catch has a lever on both sides of the action. It does have a very slight click to it when you use it, but I don't think it's anything that hunters are going to need to worry about. You push it down and forwards to make the gun safe and then pull it up and back when you're ready to take the shot. This gun is a multi-shot which runs a 10-shot drum magazine and you get two supplied. It looks very basic but just as you'd expect from Virac, it works brilliantly. I really like the fact that it sits well below the action so there's no chance of it getting in the way of scope mounting. Now the magazine is driven by a slick side lever action which cocks the gun indexes the mag and probes home the pellet. It's fast and it doesn't miss a beat. Filling with air is by means of a quick fill probe that pushes into the inlet at the front of the cylinder once you've pulled out the plug. A full 200 bar fill is giving me up to 70 shots at around 11.3 foot-pounds from the 177 calibre test gun. However, it does seem to have a sweet spot of around 55 extremely consistent shots. There's a pressure gauge at the front of the cylinder. It's clearly marked and easy to read, but it is a bit of a shame that you have to look down from the muzzle end to read it. Moving on to those all important accessories, 
This package comes supplied with a 3 to 9 by 50 Pro Shot scope. It's fitted with one quarter MOA windage and elevation turrets that you'll need a screwdriver or key to adjust. It's quite a bright optic with a mill dot reticle, and I think the 3 to 9 times zoom range should cover most people's general air gun shooting needs. The scope also comes supplied with a decent set of two piece mounts. They're just about the right height for this scope and most importantly matched to the HW110's Picatinny rail. You also get a bipod which clamps to the air gun's fore end accessory rail. It looks to me like a very good Harris replica and it has six to nine inch extendable legs. That's just the length that I would go for for ambushing rabbits from the prone position. Now my absolute favorite feature of this particular bipod is its tilt feature. It's something that's often overlooked, but it makes a huge difference when it comes to avoiding accuracy problems caused by canting the gun. A really impressive thing with this package is the fact that it comes supplied with a full 300 bar, three liter air bottle complete with hose and gauge. That's an essential accessory that can add a lot of money to your initial startup. You also get a really nice foam lined hard case and a tin of pellets. This setup really is ready to hit the range straight from the box. So let's get on and do that and I'll show you what it shoots like. Well, I'll take that group in these conditions. You can probably see it's a bit of a breezy day. Got a slight right to left wind. Uh, that's a five shot group at 30 meters. And although predictably it has drifted off a little bit to the left, it's still more or less a single holer. Um, what I did do was rather than using the usual bench bag that we use for accuracy testing, I've left on the bipod. I've used the supplied pellets just to give you an idea of what this kit really is capable of. And even in these conditions, that was an impressive group. Take away this wind, it would be even better. What a brilliant combo. It's a great gun complete with scope, mounts, silencer, bipod, that hard case, pellets, and an air bottle. If you're looking to make a serious start in pre-charged air gun shooting and your budget can stretch to a grand, this package from Pelpax delivers maximum bang for your buck. Look out for the new and improved air gun shooter magazine. Packed full of technique, gear and insight from some of the best shooters in the industry. Brand new look and free video content. Pick up your copy today in stores or online. That's all for this week, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, have a look at their website and check out the benefits that you could be taking advantage of through Airgun Membership.